Hey everyone, my name is Jamie Lee. Welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching this video today. Now today we are back with a humongous American Eagle summer 2023 haul, try on and review. I got some very, very cute stuff today that I'm super excited to show you some very Barbie inspired picks. Also some little wedding guest dress. So I'm very excited to show you. Now I think that it is no secret at this point that I really love shopping from Aerie which is American Eagle's kind of sister company. And I usually find that their stuff is super comfy, lots of really good basics versus American Eagle. I have some stuff that I absolutely adore from them and a lot of stuff that I don't like that much. Like I usually tend to return a lot more stuff from American Eagle versus Aerie because I get it, I try it on, it doesn't quite fit right or I just don't love it. I'm happy to say that is not the case today. I have already tried on most of the stuff that we are going to look at today and I really really like it. Now one of the great things about shopping from American Eagle or Aerie if you are Canadian and I'm sure this is similar if you're in the U.S. they do have free returns so you can just go online print your return label slap it back on the exact same bag that they sent you the stuff in drop it off at a post office. It is truly so easy if you don't have a printer at home you can also just bring a QR code directly to the post office with your package and they can print off a label for you. Super convenient, super easy. Though do be aware if you live in a very small town, not all post offices might be able to scan the QR code. I have experienced that in a couple small town post offices, but most of them I would say you should be good to go. And like always, I will include a direct link to the different things that I'm wearing today down in the description box, along with what size I got, what colorway I got. So if you are interested in a particular thing, you can find all of that information down there. And like always, I would love to know what pieces you loved, what pieces you hated down in the comments section. Definitely let me know. I feel like sometimes we disagree on what things are the cutest. So I always love to know what you really liked and what you maybe didn't like so much. And with that, let's get right into it with this first little dress. So I specifically got this dress because I thought it would make a very cute little wedding guest dress. I know some people are probably already going to go type that it is too light. I assure you it is green. Very, very much green with flowers on it. Just so you can see kind of the full dress, it is almost floor length on me, basically right at my ankles, which makes it perfect in my opinion for a cute little pop of shoe. I chose these little woven wedges because I just feel like they're very cute and you can wear them if you have to walk on grass as you have to in a lot of summer weddings. The cut of this also was very like wedding guest to me. I think I will also wear this maybe to a nice dinner with friends or to go see a play maybe this summer. But it is definitely giving me wedding guest vibes. And I'm just gonna take off these shoes so I can come a little closer to you. Now, the neckline on this dress is really what I loved about it. I feel like it is like this really, really flattering little neckline. And then it does have the poofy sleeves, which we know I love a poofy sleeve. I feel like they're not too, too big where people might feel weird about it, but they are poofy enough that I love them. I think they're very, very cute. Now the back on this dress does have some cutouts and tie detailing, which I will say, I don't understand why everything in the world needs to have a cutout and a tie right now. Every swimsuit is like that. Every dress is like that. Most of the rompers were like that. I just don't think it's necessary in every dress. This dress could have either had a scoop back or it could have gone all the way up at the back and it would have been probably cuter than the cutout in my opinion. However, hopefully that will help keep you cool when you're out in the blistering sun at your summer wedding. Now the pattern, like I said, is very, very cute. This is obviously a pale green with lots of different colors of flowers. And they did have this exact same dress in for sure white and I believe another color. So if you literally wanted to wear this as like a little bridal shower dress, maybe you want to just wear this as a wedding dress in the white color, I think it would be 
so freaking cute. It just feels like a really good high quality dress. I'm actually very surprised how nice it is for the price because it wasn't that expensive. And do always keep in mind, everything at American Eagle goes on sale. So you can definitely wait for a sale to get it if you don't wanna pay the full price. Overall, I just feel like it's very flattering. I love the way that the waist is kind of nice and flat and cinched in here. And then it kind of poofs out to the skirt. I think it's really, really flattering. And I think it would look flattering on pretty much anybody. And I adore the pale green. It's kind of like a Tinkerbell green with the little flowers, very like cottage core and definitely a huge win for me. So be sure to let me know if you like it or not down in the comments, but this one is a definite keep for me. Next up, we have one of the cutest little rompers I've ever seen in my life. I absolutely adore rompers. I have multiple from American Eagle and Airy that I wear all summer long. One of the key things with rompers for me though is that they have to have some sort of waist definition or tighter at the top and looser at the bottom. Otherwise, they look so bizarre on me because I am only five foot one. Now this one obviously features very, very loose shorts and these shorts do have pockets, which is great, nice deep ones. But because the top part right around my waist and up is nice and tight to my body. I feel like it still looks very flattering and very cute. It definitely has a decent amount of cleavage and I'm not personally wearing a bra with this. I don't know if you need to because it is kind of tight to your body right under your bust. And the back is also smocked which means that it kind of holds it tight here. Now, if you had a very, very large bust, I could see you needing to wear a bra under this. And I do think it would be possible as long as you wore one that was like kind of a similar shape to the top and maybe sized up a little bit. Now the straps on this one are also adjustable, which is nice. And then I just feel like it's absolutely adorable. It is definitely pretty short, but because the shorts are like kind of loose and flowy off of you, I don't feel like it's too, too short in any way. There is also a second layer under here. So the top part is kind of like a crinkle cotton feeling fabric. And underneath it's just like a really, really soft, like super flowy little pair of shorts. I I will say I personally would still get chub rub in this. This is just gonna ride up through the day and then your thighs are gonna end up rubbing together. But if you're just wearing this to like a little party or maybe you're going out for like a cute little lunch or a picnic or something, this would be perfect. You're just going to be sitting down and relaxing. I probably wouldn't wear it on a hike but for anything where you're just going to be sitting down, I think it's perfect. So once again, this one is definitely a keep for me. I absolutely love this. I know that I will wear this constantly all summer long for many summers to come, like all of my other American Eagle rompers. So if you are a fan of rompers or if you've never tried them before, definitely give this one a try. If you are tall, like I have probably two or three extra inches of torso room, but once again, I am only five foot one. If you have a really long torso, this one does have the adjustable strap, so you could definitely make this one a little longer than it is right now. But I could still see you running into trouble with where this waist part sits if you are very, very tall or have a very long torso. So keep that in mind. If you are super tall and you're looking for very long torso rompers, I recommend checking out Smash and Tess. It's a Canadian company. And I personally feel like their rompers are too long for me. <laughs> so they should work a lot better for you. They're definitely made with taller people in mind. Now, next up, we have just a super cute little casual outfit with a little pair of the shorts and a tiny baby tee, both in pink, because once again, it is Barbie summer. And with with this little pink outfit, I also got a tiny little pair of pink sunglasses because you know, you can never have too many pairs of sunglasses. I always end up breaking mine throughout the summer. So having a few different pairs as backup is always a good thing. And these little pink hearts, I thought that they were so cute and go perfectly with this whole Barbie summer idea. We know I love pink. I love wearing pink these will match so many things that I wear. Now the little baby tee, obviously just a tee. I'm just wearing pasties underneath this. If you were to wear a bra, it would need to be nude colored because this is fairly 
see-through and the only bra that I have in this room is green. So it looked a little bit weird underneath so I just took it off. This is like the epitome of a baby tee. Super, super cropped, very short little sleeves and I absolutely love the pink stripes. I think that it is very, very cute. Perfect for summer and perfect for wearing with a tiny, cute little pair of shorts. Now these ones, I got these in a size 10. I probably should have gone with a size eight because they are slightly too loose. However, I like how loose they are on the leg. So I'm inclined to keep this size, even though they are definitely like a little too loose in the waist. And this is something that I regularly experience with shorts and with jeans and pants of all kinds. I've talked about this many times on the channel, but I personally find it very hard to find ones that fit properly on my bum and thighs that are not like way too big at the waist. So the fact that these ones have some elastic means that even though they're a little too loose, I'm not feeling like they're going to fall off my body. So I feel okay about that. I don't think I'm gonna have to pull them up a ton. These ones do have nice deep pockets, both at the front and at the back, which is really nice. And they came in many other colors. If you don't love baby pink, they had like a green, a khaki, a gray. And I feel like they are cute enough and comfy enough that I might actually get another pair or two in some other colors because this is exactly the type of shorts I wanna be wearing. I don't love like super, super short shorts that are cutting up on my butt. I want I want my bum fully covered within the shorts, but I also don't want them to be super long because I feel like they make me look shorter. And overall, I feel like these ones are kind of like the perfect compromise, good length, fit good, nice and comfy, and they're made of like this really nice thick material. So I do actually think that they will last a really long time, which is great. And I am wearing kind of like bright purpley underwear under here, and I don't feel like you can see it through at all, which is good to know. Like I said, they are pretty thick, so I don't think you would be able to see underwear underneath, which is very nice in lighter color shorts for sure. And with that, those are the different things I got from American Eagle this time. Like I said, I am very happy with this. I feel like usually I have at least one or two things that are not the best. Maybe they're not perfect, they don't fit great, or I just don't love how they look. That was not my experience this time. I loved everything. The romper, the shorts, the dress are incredible. The only things that I'm like, they're okay, are this little shirt, but I can always use more baby tees. I wear them pretty much every day. And the little sunglasses are obviously cute. They're not like, oh my God, they're the best sunglasses I've ever had, but they're cute. And I know that I will definitely wear them. So like I said, let me know what you liked, what you didn't like. Do you think you might get yourself some shorts, maybe a little wedding guest dress? And like always, if you do have any questions, comments, concerns, let me know down in the comments. I'm so happy to answer them. And with that, thank you so much for watching this video today. I hope that you have a fabulous week and that I will see you next time. Bye.